All right. In this video, we are going to finish up our uh, celebrity birthday PowerPoint, and we will talk about backgrounds, animations, and transitions. So to start off with, um, I want to go ahead and go into my uh, oops, options for backgrounds. And I did a little uh, search on birthday backgrounds is basically what I googled. And um, I'm going to choose this one. Uh, so all I'm going to have to do is just right click on it and copy the image. When we go into our PowerPoint, um, we can right click on the, the blank background and go to format background. And here's where we can click on picture or texture fill. Now I'm going to uh, click on the clipboard. And when I do that, it will automatically paste that background that I just copied. A clipboard is just a temporary place that it'll save something, actually the last thing that you copied. So um, that is how I'm going to set the background. And um, I'm going to go to this one, and I can do the same thing, or I can find a different background for the sake of time. I'm going to do the same thing. So um, with that, uh, I want to make sure that my text oops that my text fills the area I'm gonna increase the size of this to let's go with ooh, 54 looks good um, this shape that I have uh, selected I can actually make a solid background to it if I want so I can click on that and then just choose a color. Uh, I'm going to pick this color blue. And that will make my text stand out. Okay. And that's how you can set a background to your slide as well as to your text, uh, text box. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and uh, do some animations. And the easiest way to do that <clears throat> is to start with the item that you want to animate first. I want to animate uh, this text box. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go up here to animations. And I'm going to just have it fly in. And so you'll see the effect that that will have uh, on that animation. And over here, I want it to start after previous. That means once I play my, my PowerPoint, there will be a slight uh, pause and then that animation will come in. I also want to animate my other object, my graphic. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to make sure animations, animations have, has been chosen. And I'm going to have it swivel in. I like that. So I'm going to go over here, click on the down arrow, and choose after previous. And that will come in slightly after my celebrity birthdays graphic here. Now I'm going to go into my celebrity uh, slide, my first one, and I'm going to choose the text box. Again, I'm going to make sure animations has been chosen. And I'm going to have this one spin in. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to go over here after previous and then I want the picture to be animated and some of these are, are more geared toward um, letters but I'm going to choose the grow and turn see what that looks like oh that's beautiful and then over here select after previous all right so I can go up here and uh, choose to play my PowerPoint. And see the effects. Ah, that's great. Now I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard. And the last thing I'm going to do is apply a transition. So I want to apply an effect that happens between each slide. And I'm going to go up here to, I'm going to choose this first slide here, and then go up to Transitions. <clears throat> and again, you have a little, uh, 
ribbon of options. I'm going to choose this curtain because I think that is a really cool effect. And I'm going to have that advance on mouse click. So I'm going to leave this on. If you wanted to set it to a timer, <clears throat> you could set it. Uh, but I want my viewers to be able to uh, leisurely look through each slide. Okay. So I'm going to choose uh, that. And I want to apply that effect to every single one of them. So I'm going to click on apply to all. Okay. Again, before I go any further, I want to click on this little save button and then I can finish uh, or go on to the next slide. Now, for the sake of time, we'll just play this so you can see the final effects. Remember, I'm hitting the enter button to transition to the next slide because I have it set for that. Now I'm going to make one more change and I would rather her come in on her animation the same time the words come in. So I am going to change this one to with previous. So what that's going to do is actually have um, her come in at the same time that the words come in. I think that'll look better and it won't take as much time. And you can see that it came in with this last item. And you can kind of play around with the effects. And that concludes uh, your backgrounds, animations, and transitions for PowerPoint.